Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Thank you for your likes and shares. And this is your reading for the 15th to the 21st of November 2021. We are also going into Sagittarius after this week, um, on around the 20th, 21st. And also we are going and we'll have the full moon on the 19th. If you would like to know what the energy or characteristics are uh, with this full moon, because eclipse season is also starting and will be with us until 2023, have a look at the uh, um, full moon energy. Use it to your advantage. Also from this reading, take from it what resonates with you. Wow. Well, another air sign. You know I love my Libras, but I just wanted to show you this card. Whatever may seem um, depressing or sad at the moment, don't worry. It's all going to come to a beautiful time. The sun. You've got the best card in the reading as the overall energy. Time is fertile to begin something new, perhaps a new relationship or a friendship or a job. Perhaps you might be moving home or going on holiday. You could be dealing with a Leo or meeting a Leo as the sun represents also Leo. Also it's number 19, one and nine becomes 10. So where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You could be finding out you're pregnant or you could be hearing of a birth of a child or of a new uh, project. Awesome. You're in the spotlight and where there is a spotlight you means that you've got recognition and you're being noticed, you're being seen. Wow. And also there will be illumination. So do your research with regards to a question or a situation. That's the overall energy for you my darlings you also have the wheel of fortune karma will be returned to you if you've done good you'll get it back threefold the same with bad if somebody's done you bad karma or good karma they will get it back threefold as well if you've had your eye on a, on a vehicle then it could be yours this week because I see the car tire here usually I say that with the six of wands and the chariot Okay, but um, there is there is transformation uh, around you, um, Libra. So don't worry. There is a big shift. Like I said, the eclipse season is starting, so that could be major for you. That could be of significance. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Again, you can be going on holiday or moving home with this card. This is the, also the Karma card. Also, you could be going on to the next level in career or in a romance. Wow, beautiful. But that's the all over energy. Let's see what the week holds for you as well. You've got the Hermit, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo. Or Virgo time, you could have started something and something is coming to fruition. As the wheel turns round, there's also an end of a phase, a new beginning. So there could be more than just one new beginning. You could have, you could be taking time out to meditate or to contemplate and evaluate. Or you could be a, a guide to other people. You could become, and this could also represent a guide a teacher, um, somebody that is an advisor, you could be starting a new job as an advisor. This could also be like a, a social worker, uh, somebody that deals with emotions, psych a psychologist, psychiatrist, a marriage guidance counsellor, a career counsellor, anything like that. But I do see institutions for some reason. Okay, or municipalities. You also have the page of pentacles. This could be news about a child. This news could come from somebody younger or from a child, but news is on its way. News that has tangibility, durability, and for long term. So this could be um, news from your partner, 
saying I found uh, I've had a pay rise or I've had a promotion or we can uh, buy that house or um, could be if you've put a, an offer in on a house that you could be getting an answer you've got it boom there you are again the hermit is nine so nine is again an ending a new beginning wow definitely um, you are going up eight nine ten wow you are definitely in balance already right from the start and right from the start in the week you've got a mo um, the ace of cups on wednesday midweek um, your cup is running over like i said before i think you might have more than one choice to make or a new start you've got choices to make but your cup is running over this could be a new love a new passion um, also you could be dealing with uh, a cancer scorpio or a pisces scorpio coming back here for the second time cancer is the chariot so again cancer scorpio is the the, the wheel scorpio cancer or pisces okay there's only there's the moon isn't here because that represents uh cancer and, and, and pisces as well you've also got the six of cups so somebody could be coming back from the past giving you also a present so that could be uh, what you wanted and your cup is running over with gladness to and happiness that you are seeing somebody from your past perhaps from your kindergarten or your childhood days you could also be reminiscing but you're definitely in balance wow this is really beautiful the ace of cups and the sun beautiful cards you've also got the eight of swords you might not see something um you might be stuck in your head about the past okay you might be making a prison for yourself don't come out of your mind don't be turning or let don't let anything gnaw at you go out there and do the research gain the information so that you can make the decision again as i said something is illuminated so do the research and it will bring you big dividends as it will bring you victory these three cards are the most four cards are the most positive cards in your reading eight is also that you're in the house of power and the house of money money could be coming back perhaps uh, sorry money could be coming towards you could be from something or somebody from the past bringing back a loan uh, they might have borrowed money and they're bringing it back and you didn't see it coming wow that is and that will be a major surprise but you do have recognition from family and friends as you have the chariot that means victory and champion you're the champion people just love your energy okay if you again uh, the chariot something is like a carriage um carriage nowadays would be the car or a motorbike you could be investing in a new vehicle you are being seen going on to next level uh, in career or in romance beautiful and you're doing it fast something is happening very fast and very rapid you could be moving home or going on holiday i think you are once you come out of your mind everything will take off boom with speed plans coming to fruition since you've got the two um oh you're sorry you're making plan plans or you're partnering up as you have the two of wands but i think your plans are coming to fruition because you've got the victory card here victory and again victory here okay recognition overall recognition you also have the ace of wands and talking about things happening quickly and swiftly the ace the ones are swift are fast partnering up making plans definitely 
This is also the marriage card, don't forget. Now that is a lovely reading. So you have you the only difficulty that you have, Libra, is that you might not see what choice to make. You might need to have a, a four of coins, a four of swords, or a hanged man moment. So take time out. Delay if necessary. Don't do anything in a hurry. Otherwise you have to repent in leisure. And you've got Hylak. Hylak. And that is from the Bee Wolf Oracle. You most probably know the um, Vikings series. And I love these um, cards. Now there's also, I'm going to find Hylak, but it's a bit different because um, there is no index with this and it, it is a little bit difficult to find the card okay so just bear with me for a tick now I've got and you can see it better on this because the rune symbol is on the buttons it's the X <laughs> it's Gaelic, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I can't pronounce it. Excuse me if I butcher the words. Like, um, the words. Okay. Now he is the Geatish king. Okay, he's the Geatish king. Now the symbol X is um, Gebo, the rune meaning exchange and generosity. This is a rune of gratitude and gifting. You can be grateful if you have so much success and recognition. Also the Six of Cups, giving and taking. Also the Wheel of Fortune, the Karma, receiving back what you have given out threefold. So beautiful. Your recognition, is be, uh, your generosity is being also recognized and your gratitude. This is the Rune of Gratitude and Gifting. The rune symbolizes hospitality and balance. And I said the Six of Cups, somebody could be coming back from the past with a gift. Okay. Apology or uh, bringing back the money that they borrowed from you. Things like that. Or just a general gift. The door to my hall is open to you. Here you will find welcome and the warmth of kinship, knowledge, growth, they are my gifts to you. Wow. There you go. So I'm going to read a verse. Those who venture where the gods walk know their pathways over through who would have trustworthy guidance follow in these footsteps true. Your soul kindred stand beside you incantations and in view so do your incantations your affirmations have also been heard i hope you have enjoyed this reading for this week take care stay safe and be blessed and thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing the family is growing i'm happy and i hope to see you on wednesday nights or on Friday or Saturday, depending if I'm collaborating um, in the lives. Take care, stay safe and be blessed.